That's not supposed to be open. I told my dad I wasn't gonna go out there at all today. Look at that, Joe's clothes right there on the couch. I don't know why, but I just have a bad feeling. This is a, this might be setting a bit of a bad precedent. I gotta go talk to him. This is seriously like, it's just, let's kick him on. What's up guys, by the way? How y'all doing? Hey Joe! What's uh, what's going on? Hey, what's up Tom? Why are you coming in here hot, dude? Uh, I'm trying to have some time by myself, relaxing. Right, yeah. What's up, bud? Um, so... You getting you, in? No, <laughs> no I'm not. I feel like that would be awkward. It, it certainly would be. Um, what, what, what are you doing in here? Uh, I had a long day at work and my bathroom really hurt me from sleeping on the couch, so I figured I would, you know, take a little pressure off. He's got a lot of jets in here, man, and this really, really released some pressure. Yeah. Had a few cold ones. Watch a little bit of Comcast Sportsnet. Right, um... What? Look, I, I told my dad that I wasn't gonna use the hot tub, like, at all this weekend. Well, I well, I didn't know that. You should've told me that when we had a conversation about me staying here. I wouldn't be in here right now, but now that I'm in here, you might as well get in. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah. That, that's partially on me, because I didn't think about it, but like, you know, I, I don't know, like, the first anything about like taking care of a hot tub or anything. Well, I mean, yeah, well, that's fine, but I mean, why would you tell your dad you didn't want to use it? Because I had no plans to use it, because, I mean... This area is so it, nice out here, dude. I mean, yeah, gazebo is very nice. I mean, let's not look at it. I would sit out here all, all day, every night, if I had the opportunity to. But I mean, are you really mad that I'm in here? I'm, I'm not mad. I'm concerned, I Worried. guess. Well, I mean, what could possibly happen? I mean, it, what do you have to do to take care of it? The chlorine's already in here. I feel like that there's nothing can go wrong, right? The jets Well, yeah, are but I mean, I saw you sitting outside earlier, and, you know, time of year, and also as hot and humid as it is today, you will probably put bug spray on, didn't you? Yeah, the, yeah, the bugs have been brutal the last few days, dude. I mean, so bad the last few days. Exactly, and yeah. what if, you know, what, by the time you're done, like, maybe, like, because the storm's coming, suppose the uh, power goes out while it's in the middle of trying to filter it, and then I don't know how to turn the thing back on. Oh, like if it trips or something? Like if it trips and then there's like just this film of bug spray on top? I like, didn't even think about that, dude. I was more thinking along the lines, I don't have any sunscreen on because I haven't been out in the sun, so I figured it'd be okay. I didn't even think, dude, that's my bad. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So how do you get, all right, all right, all right. That's fine. I will Google and find out how you get rid of film from like if there's a film in here, how you get rid of it? I'll look it up. I mean, great. He won't. I mean, is he really going to notice? How often is he out here in the summertime? He can't be in here that often. Like twice a week, maybe. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, he's got it. He's going to use it. I yeah. I'd be out here at least twice a week. He probably goes in here and then goes in the pool to cool off, and then that vice versa. Uh, That's no. What I normally would do. he normally it's like pool during the day, hot tub at night. I like the way he thinks, man. He's your dad's living the dream. Yeah. I, it does feel. I, I mean, don't know. I, I, I'm maybe I'm just trying to make sure that there's not gonna be like, you know, re repeats. Cause I know that like, you have shown in the past, give you an inch, you sometimes take a mile. Uh, and I know I, that your clothes are kind of in a pile on the couch. Okay, Tom, they're the clothes that I had on all over my bathing suit before I came in the pool or in the hot tub. I mean, and right. that's only because as soon as I go inside and get dried off, I'm gonna put them right back on. My bathing suit's going in the dryer and getting put away. I feel like that I've been. The, look, everything else no, out there you is have, very... You have been a good house guest thus far, I, I, I will say. I replaced the cereal that I ate. I didn't mean to eat, finish your honeycombs, but I replaced it with a fresh box today. I don't know if you noticed that or not. I, I I'm trying didn't. to more... I can't remember the last time I've actually had cereal. Oh, I, I don't know. They were in there, and I didn't want to not replace it, so I'm trying to be cognizant. Wait, wait, you, you mean the cereal house. box that was all the way on the right? Yes. It was a little old when I ate Dude, it. Dude, that cereal's... That cereal's, like, super stale. That's, like... It's like months and months. It wasn't super. I mean, I was pretty, pretty banged uh, up when I ate it. It seemed a little stale. Yeah, but once you put I the guess. milk in there, it was fine. But anyway, there's a Fair fresh enough, box now. You don't like honeycombs? No, honeycombs is fine. Yeah. So now you have a fresh box that you can eat. I'm trying to be more cognizant as a house guest. Because guess what? I know the clock's ticking, dude. I know I don't have much time left. Yeah, and I, and like it. 
I don't know if I said it, but I do appreciate that you did make yourself scared when I had that party the other day. Of uh, course. I, although, speaking of which, did you, like, I noticed that the, the uh, bag of smoked chicken that I made. Dude, uh, you did such a great job. That chicken was delicious. Like, I, that you dad should be very proud about how well you smoked. Is that the first time you smoked something on your own? Second. Well, first time on my own. Dude, it came out unbelievably great. Thank you very much for leaving that in the fridge. I, it came in handy the other night. Well, thank you for the compliment, but like... You're welcome. You did a really good job. Like, I was... I have this recipe for, like, a chicken mushroom Alfredo that I was going to make, and I don't know if I have enough chicken now. Wow, that... Dude, I'll help you make that. That'd be delicious. I'm sure it Do would. Do you need to go to the store and get some pasta for you or something? When are we going to have that? Tomorrow night? Like, for, a, a, you know, one last hurrah? I mean, I was actually planning on making that tonight. Uh, do you have enough chicken in there? I don't know anymore. I didn't know if I had enough before. I, I probably did. I mean, that was a big. Tom, there's a lot. There was a lot of chicken in there. Honestly, it's probably fine. But there, there was, was a lot of less, chicken. I definitely ate a good, a good part. I mean, dude, it was. I took one little piece because it was in there. I needed something to eat real quick. But then it just it, it turned into more because it was. I mean, you did a, that good of a job. I mean, bang up job on that, Tom. I do appreciate that, and uh, so, I mean, it, it I, look, did come out really good. Everybody else said so too. Look, I mean, dude, it was uh, it was juicy. It had the perfect amount, not too smoky, just smoky enough. Like it might be better than your dad smoked chicken, chicken that I had. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> it probably was. Well, might want to tell him that because then he'll know that I had chicken here, and he want to know why I had chicken. I mean, he knew that you were coming over for chilling and grilling. So yeah, but that was before you had. He knew you were having a party. Uh, uh, he did, yeah. That yeah, makes so sense, he knew yeah. it was this weekend. He knows me filmed during the week. I mean, I feel bad kind of keep this from him, like, like you know, I, but I feel like that's just easier. And all, all we're doing is buying a little bit of time, dude. You know, it, it, it's, it's. I went, I, I took the kids fishing the other day, um, and Nat mm -hmm. was very, not very talkative, but she talked to me. It wasn't like it was like slam the door in my face, kind of. You know what I mean? So I think maybe we're just buying time and. Okay. So, Hopefully by the time dad gets back, you know, it, everything's copacetic back at the house. So thus far it sounds like the idea of like you're just trying to lay low and... I'm just trying to give her a little space. I think that I'm getting on her nerves yeah. and she needs a little bit of space. I'm trying to do that for her. But I also don't want to be an absentee father, you know what I mean? So I, we, I right, think right. Fishing. Dude, so uh, you weren't around. I hooked my hand with a Rapala. I, had, I was trying to get the pole out of the back of the car and it got stuck and it, it went right through my hand. Right there. You can't Ugh. see it. Yeah, so I, it wasn't all the way through, so I had to pull it through my hand because there's a barb on it, right? Right there, you probably can't see it. Uh, no, there's a, there's a mark. I also sliced my hand here with cutting a sandwich. I know. Um, well, that's significantly less impressive. I know. So, but it wasn't all the way through. It was through, but I had to pull it through because of the barb on it. But then I didn't have any, I couldn't go in my garage and get the wire cutters because I'm not in the house. So luckily I found the key to your dad's shed over there and he has everything. So I was able to find wire cards and cut it and pull it out. But I wish you were here because I would have been like, we should document it. Because I would have, like, why wouldn't you have filmed it? it? But you weren't, you were nowhere to be seen. Uh, because it's an injury and as far as I'm aware, YouTube isn't exactly keen on showing injuries. Well, you weren't here anyway, so you could have told me that then. But it, dude, it really hurt. I, I'm sure it did was, a fish hook through the hand. Tom, the good news was that my last physical, my doctor realized I wasn't up to date on my tetanus, so he gave me a tetanus shot, so I didn't have to go to the hospital or anything. Well, that's good. Because you know you get locked off in tennis? I, I think I knew that, but that's not like knowledge that I've retained, I think. Yeah, if you step over, like, I remember I stepped over on a rusty nail when I was a kid once. And tennis shots hurt. Have you had a tennis shot recently? I, I don't. Uh, no, I haven't had any. It's a painful vaccine, dude. And that's good what it to is, know. right? It's considered a vaccine, isn't it? It's a vaccine, yeah. Tennis shot, that's a. It's a booster, yeah, so it's a booster is what I got. Does it count as a vaccine? I think it's, it's like considered a, a vaccine. Because it's a, it's, it's, it's a shot to prevent you getting something, right? Isn't that what vaccines do? Uh, well, yeah, I, I don't... Uh, but, yeah, it probably is. But anyway, dude, I, I don't... I, but I put everything back in there, too. You wouldn't even know I went in the shed, so... Well, it's, true. It, <laughs> if anybody would know that... So I went in the shed, it would wind up being my dad. Well, if so. that comes up, you just tell your dad that I got, he knows I got a fish hook stuck in my hand. So you just let him know that I came over because he knew that you would have the tools. So just say, I meant to tell you, Joe stopped by to grab wire cutters for his fish hook. But then wouldn't he get suspicious why you wouldn't have wire cutters of your own and use the ones at your own house? 
Now, because he knows I'm the kind of guy that doesn't have tools, or if I do have them, I don't know where they're at. Because I had to borrow his wrenches the other day. You know to... what? That is a very fair point. Yeah, he knows I'm, I'm not the manliest man of, about all the time. Now, if it was like someone like Kevin saying that, then he'd be suspicious. I could have went to Kevin's house. I don't know why I didn't call him. Yeah. But again, it's just, I, I, I want to keep this, you know, the, the less people that know of my situation right now, the better off. So Kevin doesn't even know what's going on. Your dad doesn't even know what's going on. I promise you that these beer cans, I'll, I'll clean up out here when we're done. I'll make it like Please I was do. never in here. I'll, I'll make it like I was never in here. That would be definitely for, look, I mean, look, I, maybe I'm just feeling generous today, but like, I, even if you do happen to leave something, like if there is a film on the thing and you just didn't notice or it doesn't cycle through or something, I'll, I'll take the hit. Like, I'll, I'll just say, like, I know that I said that I wouldn't, but I went in the hot tub anyway. Tom, you have really, really have been cool and like, mad at me over the last week, and I really appreciate it. Friend to friend, bro, I really appreciate it. Like, I know that you're in, like, a figuratively and literally, I guess, hot spot. Yeah, but... right now it's hot. But no, yeah, yeah, no. But you're right, both ways it is. Like, I meant because of hot tub, but yeah, no, you're right. It's, it's, all we're trying to do is make it easier. I just feel like that, you know, it was every time I came home, it was a thing. And it wasn't just like, and, and I'm sure that you probably feel not responsible, but a little bit. I mean, you are want to spray me with the hose. You know what I mean? Like, but uh, you're going to throw me in the lake. Look, we're going to, we're just going to, yeah. But look, I really appreciate the way that you're being, and, and you're being a really good friend to bail me out. And I promise I won't let you down, dude. I will, like I said, I've been trying to be really like cognizant of my, not impeding on your freedom and your time that you have to yourself. And you have been. I've like, been I've been out of your hair when you know and I could have very easily hung out here with your friends and we probably would have had all a good time. But I didn't wanna I didn't want to impose on you having an opportunity to have your friends over without your parents around. So I mean that's the only reason why Yeah. You know, like I, said, I, mean, I, said, I, you know I, I do appreciate that and hopefully everything will work out for you soon enough. You know, I, I think that it will. I think that I, I think that I'll be fine. I think that you know, we're literally, it's, it hasn't been too long. It's just enough time for her to kind of realize, all right, it's situational. I'm not trying to be a, a dude that comes home covered in crap every time I come home. You know what I mean? So the more I go over there and take the kids, the soccer practice or fishing, and I'm normal, the more she'll realize that that was just a one-off situation. Hopefully. Right. I, yeah, I, I guess all I can say is just I'm concerned about accidentally leaving a trace and then getting noticed considering you know so you know right now i'm so. more worried about leaving trees i feel like that if you leave a trace i will lay myself down on my sword and say look you know larry you know how i can get i convinced tom I, I played on his sympathetic heart made him feel bad i you know i was very manipulative even though i don't think i was but i'll say that to him um just right. so, so you don't get blamed for it but i also don't want no, I, well, the, the goal is he has no idea I was here, right? That's not, it's not even going to be a thing. That's the entire He's thing. not going to know. Yeah. He's not going to know. He's not. I'm going to, like I said, worst case scenario is you say you're in a hot tub, but I'm going to make sure everything else is clean. Yeah, TV off. I'll turn, off, I'll turn I'll turn off and I'll off. wait and see what it looks like before I leave. Yeah. To make sure there's not a film on it. Make sure stuff is all zipped up and everything. Yeah, that, that was open. So I'll leave that open. Okay, that's fair enough, like that being open. That thing was zipped, the main thing was zipped, the screen was zipped. But I'll make sure that's all zipped up and closed up and locked off down below, because I took the yeah, little... that definitely was zipped before, because I could see that from... Yeah, and the there's kitchen. a little tie there on the bottom that was tied off, on, there's like a hook. I'll yeah, make sure that's yeah. all hooked up, like, so nobody's been in here. All I right. paid attention to how everything was before I came in here. And that's why I only brought two beers and one drink. Gotcha. I didn't want to leave a trail. Alright, well... Trusting you, man. Thanks, bro. I really, yeah, Tom. Thanks, dude. I'll be in, in a little bit. If you want to game it up, maybe a little bit later. Sure. You probably don't want to. I see you don't want to. It's cool, dude. Don't feel like you're obligated to hang out with me. I mean, I, I still gotta make dinner, man. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm hungry. If you want to make it. Yeah. Later, dude. I'm off my shoe. Hey, just so you know, it's starting to rain. I just don't know, man. Well, all I can hope is that he makes good on it and everything is fine.